This video will give you some tips for effectively using EasyBib. The free version of EasyBib can be used for MLA style citations only. Right on the home page of EasyBib.com, you can select the type of source you need to cite and enter a minimal amount of information to get started. However, you do need to understand some things about your sources in order to get an accurate and correct citation out of EasyBib. Let's start with websites. If I was writing a paper on the cost of college and use this article from Forbes.com, I can copy and paste the URL for the article into the website option on EasyBib's homepage, then click Cite It. EasyBib tells me it was able to find this information, but will need me to fill in some additional pieces of information. I want to make sure I don't skip this step, otherwise my citation might be incorrect. First, I need the title of the article. Returning to the Forbes page, I see that the article is titled, The Cost of College, Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. I can input this title into the article title box on the EasyBib form. Next, I need to include the contributors. Notice there is a drop-down menu to select the type of contributor I am entering. Make sure you select the correct option for your source. Most likely, this will be an author on a website. For this article, Mike Patton is listed as the contributor. I will add his name to the EasyBib form. If there were additional authors, I can use this link to add their names. The website information is already filled in for me, but I do need to include the date that this article was published. Again, I look back at the article and I see the date here, so I will enter that on the form. The date that I accessed the article is already put in, but I can edit this if perhaps I accessed the article on a previous day, and I'm now just creating my citation. And then I click Create Citation. Hooray! Here's my new citation. I can copy and paste this into my Works Cited and alphabetize it with my other sources. Let's take a look at another type of source. For a book, for example, the text for your English composition course, you can put in the title, ISBN, or keywords to find a matching book. If you have the book available, try to find the ISBN on the back of the title page. Different versions of books with the same title will have different ISBNs, so that is the most accurate way to identify the exact version of the book you need to cite. I'm going to use the book They Say I Say with Readings, the third edition, and I'll input the ISBN for this version that is used in my class. If EasyBib is not able to find the source that you're using, you can use this link to input the information yourself, and EasyBib will walk you through all of the pieces of citation that you need. EasyBib was able to find the book that I'm using, so I can click Cite This to begin to fill in the form automatically. Make sure you select the correct option for the book you are using from the top, whether it's in print or if you were using an ebook version. For the paper I'm writing for my English class, I'm probably not using the entire book because They Say I Say is a collection of essays all written by different authors. For my assignment, I'm only going to be using one of those essays, so I want to make sure that I cite only the essay I'm using in my paper. Here where it asks what I'm citing, I don't want the whole book because I'm actually using a chapter or section. You'll see that EasyBib is going to redirect me to the appropriate form. Whenever you are using a book that has an editor or editors and different chapters or sections are written by different authors, you want to make sure to use this option to cite a chapter or anthology instead of citing the entire book. But fortunately, EasyBib asks you that question and redirects you to the appropriate form. I'll enter the essay title, Should Everyone Go to College? And now I need to look at the contributors. Gerald Graff, Kathy Birkenstein, and Russell Durst are actually the source editors. This is important information that you need to change. So I will need to select editor here. And you can look at the book you're using to determine if the people listed are editors or authors. Most likely, if you're looking at an anthology or a collection of essays and chapters written by different people, they are going to be the editors. You'll add another contributor for the author of the essay or chapter you're using. So I'm going to put in the authors of Should Everyone Go to College? There are two authors for this essay, so I've input both Stephanie Owen and Isabel Sawhill. In the next section, EasyBib has only put in the title of the book. 
I need to add information about volume, edition, or the series, and the publication information. And I'll be able to find this information on the title page of the book I'm using. So now I'm going to input the edition, which is the third, and the publication info. Finally, I need to put in the pages for the essay I use. This essay begins on page 208 and ends on page 225. I create the citation. And my final citation will show that I used the essay, Should Everyone Go to College, by these two authors from the book, They Say I Say, by these editors, and includes the page numbers so that anyone looking at my work cited could go into that book and find exactly the essay I'm using. Finally, let's look at how I would use EasyBib to cite an article that I got from a library database. Remember that many library databases provide you with formatted citations right within the database, but if you don't use those, you can use EasyBib to generate a correct citation. You'll use the database option, and then you need to select what kind of database article you are citing. Although EasyBib suggests you pick this option if you're unsure, the article published by database option tends to generate incorrect or incomplete citations. So it's better that you use something from the most popular or the other list. If you need to figure out what kind of article you're using before you select from this list, take a look at the article in the database itself. Here's a list of results for my search in a library database using cost of college. These icons will help me determine what type of source I'm looking at. For example, if something is an academic journal or a report. I can also click on the title to get more information about what the source is. I see from the document type that it is a speech. Let's take a look at an academic journal article. By clicking the title, I get into the detailed record, which gives me a lot of the information I will need for my citation. I can now go back to EasyBib. I know that this is an academic journal article, so I'm going to select that from the options. Once again, I should make sure the correct tab is selected at the top of the form, so my article is from an online database. And now I'm going to need to input information about the article and the journal. So I take the article title and I put that into the form. I'm also going to include the authors or contributors, which I can pull off of this information. I will have to enter each of these authors individually. And I'll do that by using the Add Another Contributor link. Once I have all of my authors entered, I need to begin entering the information for the journal that published this article. I'm going to look here for the source. Community College Review is the name of the journal that published this article. And now I need to input things like the volume, the issue, the year it was published, and the pages. All of that information can be also found on the detailed record. If when you were doing your research, you pulled up the PDF full text of an article in a database and you're looking at a screen like this, you should see an option for an abstract or a detailed record which will take you to the screen that has just the information you need as opposed to the full text of the article. The next piece of information I need is the database. When you're looking at the detailed record, you may see an option on the screen that tells you the database the article came from. If you do not see an option like this, try looking at the top of your screen where it tells you what database you are searching. I know that this article is from the database ERIC, so that is what I'm going to put into the database option. I also need to include the date that I accessed the article. And because MLA 7 does not require a URL unless it's difficult to locate the source, you do not need to use URLs for library databases. Remember that EasyBib is only giving you the full citations for your works cited. You'll also need to do in-text citations for any sources that appear on your works cited. You need a citation for anything you quote directly and also for any information you take from a source that you paraphrase or put in your own words. For more information on in-text citations, please view some of our other citation tutorials.